everybody so uh, today I wanted oh my gosh oh my gosh look at my hands I just dyed a piece of my hair with kool-aid that video will be up soon if you guys want to watch it oh wow that's really bad anyway back to the video I recently bought um, ColourPop's amber set at Sephora and I really like it so I thought I would um, review it for you guys and um, show you what I like about it so let's get on with the video so it comes in this really pretty box it's holographic which is really nice you can see the rainbow and it's the amber set crystal collection bundle I like crystals but I don't like crystals for what everybody else likes crystals for I was when I was younger I really liked rocks and I liked how pretty they were and I'd always collect rocks and I had a little little like um chest of just rocks and I love crystals but I'm not into crystals for the reason that everybody else is like crystals they do this for you they do that I don't believe in none of that like they say on here amber crystal admits a soothing light energy that calms and energizes simultaneously it's often reserved referred to as liquid sunshine this crystal helps balance emotions clear your mind and release any negative energy i don't really believe in any of that but i mean you do you boo what comes in the kit is the setting spray the liquid highlight and the balm so the setting spray every item supposedly contains real amber which i wonder how they did that because honey i don't see it so the um setting spray here supposedly contains green tea white tea mango flower peach um, and matte marine, which is an ingredient to reduce the appearance of oily skin. And what you're supposed to do is shake it up gently, hold an arm length away, and spray, spray, spray. P.S. Don't spray directly into eyes or mouth, which I learned the hard way. It burns. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. It hurts a lot. Okay, I even did it from, I had it right here. I didn't do it an arm length away because I didn't read the directions. And I was at Disney and I was like, <laughs> so the liquid highlighter, it's has specialty powders to create a flawless soft focus finish so you're supposed to do one to two pumps and apply on face using fingers or a brush mixed with foundation or moisturizer for a radiant look so I really I bought this kit for the highlighter because we were at Sephora at Disney Springs and um, they had like little testers and I was like oh my gosh it looks so beautiful and I swatched it on my hand and I was like I need this kit but I don't want the other stuff in it it's so pretty like the camera does not do it injustice but you have to make sure to shake it up because it does separate so always shake it before you use it and it's really nice like I'm actually wearing it on my nose right now it kind of faded away on my cheeks but it's there it's still there a little bit but I'll give you guys a closer look okay so here is the Colourpop highlighter kind of see like um, the orangey and yellow that it has It's also on my inner corners and my nose. And I'm wearing the um, ColourPop lip balm as well. So, let's demonstrate the highlighter. First, I'm going to do a swatch on my hand and then show you on the face. Here we go. You don't, a little goes a very long way with the highlight. Look at how pretty. It's so pretty. And it's like... You can't see it in the camera. Again, the camera just doesn't do it justice. So the highlight has a bit of a pink sort of fluctuate to it. Duochrome kind of feel. And in real life, it's very orange. But it's also, in different lightings, very pink as well. And I really like it, especially on my skin tone. You know, I'm going to keep... I think I might keep the light a little... A little low. Okay. So I really, really do love this highlight. It's so gorgeous and it's it's orangey but it's pinky in different lights it's just kind of like a duo chrome and it's so pretty on the skin I think with people um, with my skin tone or maybe a tan sort of skin tone I have an olivey undertone which I actually found out the other day because no golden all golden like foundations or concealers look red on me and it was freaking me out until I was asking my mom and I was like what if I'm an olive undertone and she's like you are I'm olive and I was like oh it all makes sense now so that was cleared up. Now we'll get to the highlight on the skin. Excuse my scars. I know they're horrible. Okay, and I feel I've tried using this with a brush and I feel it is best to use your finger. Oh my gosh. I'm looking in the mirror back there and it's so pretty. This camera is just not doing it justice. It's so bright. Oh my gosh. 
Again, excuse the scars. I know they're ugly. Don't judge. Like, uh-oh. That <laughs> put too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's use a full pump. Heck, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing to myself? I... <laughs> Highlighting goals, yes. Oh no. Okay, where's my makeup wipes? <laughs> Help. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, but it's so pretty even on the makeup wipe. Oh my god. Nothing, no camera can capture. The camera can't capture the true beauty of this highlight. Let me, I have to put it back on now, but. It's so beautiful, and the duochrome is amazing. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I want to die. It's so pretty. I can't, like, that's too much. That's not even a full pop. Like, I press it just a little bit. Like, the camera just isn't picking up how orangey and pink it is. So, I'm going to set that with the spray. Make sure to put it like a full arm length away because honey, this spray will get you. Okay, so just one, one spray. I'm scared. Okay. It smells good. One spray really does cover my face. I guess it's, it's, when you do it like a full arm away, it like um, spreads really nicely. So it covered my face. <laughs> oh. So now we're moving on to the lip balm and the lip balm contains mango butter which has vitamin A and C in it and I didn't even read that on it and I put it on and I was like oh, it smells like mango and then I read it and I was like it's mango butter oh so I'm gonna do like a half and half so you can kind of see that um it gives a slight color so it's it's orange definitely it smells really mango-y and it gives a really slight orangey look you can see how like slightly orange it is I don't mind the orange at all I mean somebody might it's just so moisturizing and it feels so soft on the lips it's so nice but I really do like the lip balm I really like everything in the set um the setting spray is really nice it's nice and refreshing um it feels good it feels fresh so I really do like the setting spray but my top two are the highlighter and the lip balm absolutely amazing why are my braids doing this you can you can stop you can stop anytime i really do like this kit so what would i rate this i rate this kit oh my gosh <gasps> you can see the highlight so what would i rate this out of five i would rate this a four out of five four because um the setting spray i feel like they could have i mean it does feel nice on the skin but i feel like they could have given you a little more just a little more i feel like this is a really small bottle for the setting spray it's also glass which is kind of like interesting but you know who am i at the same time i don't know how products work so i don't really like the setting spray that much but it is nice i feel like maybe it could have they could have added maybe the scent just a tiny bit stronger because it's very 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 light compared to the lip balm like it smells like nothing compared to the lip balm it's like not that good of a smell because the lip balm smells amazing but it's really great i really love ColourPop. i really see what they're trying to do and i heard that they're actually working on making either mascara or foundation soon so excited for that ColourPop, keep doing you ColourPop, keep going i've been a supporter for a very long time you do you boo and i will see you guys in the next video bye